Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into something that could transform your health. The five healthiest foods you can eat. But before we get into the list, let's tackle a critical question. What truly makes a food healthy? To understand what makes a food healthy, we first need to understand what can make us sick. Insulin, as many of you know, is at the top of that list. Foods that spike insulin levels, raising your blood sugar, can seriously hinder your health and contribute to illness. On the other hand, foods that strip us of important nutrients are also harmful. That's why we're focusing on nutrient-dense foods that not only provide vitamins and minerals, but also enhance nutrient absorption. Here's a crucial insight. Fiber and fat are two foods that don't trigger insulin responses. They're your allies! But be mindful, not all proteins are created equal. Lean proteins can cause significant insulin spikes, while fattier proteins offer a more stable approach. So, we're looking for a higher fat, lower protein ratio in our foods. And don't forget about phytonutrients. These magical compounds go beyond basic vitamins and minerals, offering extra health benefits. Curious about which five foods are the healthiest? Stay tuned as we reveal the ultimate list that combines low insulin impact, high nutrient density, and those amazing phytonutrients. Don't miss out. Your journey to better health starts right here. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So, let's start with the first food on our list, sauerkraut. You might be wondering, what makes sauerkraut so incredibly healthy? Well, in just one cup of sauerkraut, you get only 6 grams of carbs, but 4 1 grams of that is fiber. This means the net carbs are only 1.9 grams. So, for an entire cup, you're looking at just under 2 grams of carbs, which is fantastic. This makes sauerkraut a great choice for a low-carb, high-fiber, and nutrient-rich food. Sauerkraut is packed with vitamin C, more than any other food out there. One cup contains over 700 milligrams of vitamin C, while we only need about 75 milligrams a day. Vitamin C is crucial because it helps with collagen production, bone building, and protecting the heart from damage caused by free radicals. It's a powerful antioxidant, and without enough vitamin C, you could get tired, suffer from scurvy, have joint issues, and notice more wrinkles, making you look older. Additionally, Sauerkraut is both a prebiotic and a probiotic. This means it's great for feeding the good bacteria in your gut, and it's fermented, so it's full of friendly bacteria. Unlike yogurt, where the probiotics often get destroyed in the stomach, the probiotics in sauerkraut survive and make it to the large intestine. Sauerkraut is made from cabbage, which is a cruciferous vegetable. Cruciferous vegetables are known for having some of the most powerful phytonutrients compared to other vegetables. Sauerkraut is also very easy to digest, making it a good option if you have digestive problems. It doesn't produce much gas like other vegetables, such as broccoli, and it helps with regular bowel movements and supports brain function. Another benefit of sauerkraut is that it's high in lactic acid, which is good for your beneficial bacteria and bad for harmful bacteria. This means that harmful pathogens can't thrive in an environment with high lactic acid. Sauerkraut is also a good source of vitamin K2, which helps keep calcium in your bones and out of your joints and arteries. And lastly, sauerkraut is very high in vitamin U. You might be wondering, what is vitamin U? I've included a link below for more information on vitamin U, but it is actually a real vitamin with some impressive benefits. It's known for its positive effects on conditions like colitis, which is inflammation of the colon, as well as ulcers. Vitamin U is also really good for gastritis, acid reflux, GERD, and even gut inflammation. Number 2. Arugula And why it's great for your salads. When you're picking out greens for your salad, it's smart to choose ones that are packed with nutrients, and arugula is perfect for that. Arugula is a type of cruciferous vegetable, which means it's full of beneficial plant compounds. It's especially good for your liver and helps it function better. If I can choose arugula for my salad, I will almost always pick it over other greens like spinach. Spinach has a lot of oxalates, which can lead to kidney stones, but arugula has much lower levels of oxalates, so it's a better choice for avoiding those issues. Arugula has a unique flavor, it's a bit peppery, slightly sweet, and a bit spicy or hot. It doesn't need much added to it for seasoning. Sometimes I just use extra virgin olive oil and a pinch of sea salt. Besides tasting good, arugula is great for reducing inflammation because it has strong anti-inflammatory properties. It's also rich in nitric oxide, which is beneficial for improving libido and treating erectile dysfunction. Additionally, it supports cardiovascular health by keeping the inner walls of your arteries in good shape helping to prevent clots and plaque buildup. Arugula is packed with nutrients like calcium, potassium, folate, vitamin C, and vitamin K1. Plus, it has some powerful anti-cancer effects. 
So, incorporating arugula into your salads is a tasty and healthy choice. Number 3. Salmon. It's the next food we're focusing on. I always suggest choosing wild-caught salmon, especially the fattier kinds, and leaving the on skin on because it contains extra healthy fats. Salmon has lower mercury levels compared to other fish, so it's safer to eat. Another great thing about salmon is its high selenium content, which helps counteract any mercury it may contain, so you can enjoy it worry-free. Salmon is incredibly high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for your brain, heart, and joints, and they even help fight cancer. Many people consume too many omega-6 fats from oils like soy, corn, and canola, which can cause inflammation in the body. To reduce inflammation, it's important to eat foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon. That's why I recommend having salmon at least a few times a week. While salmon has a lower fat-to-protein ratio, about 1 to 2, its other health benefits make it worth including in your diet. It's easy to find, tastes great, and you can enhance its nutritional value by adding extra healthy fats. Comparing omega-3 content, salmon far exceeds cod. For example, just 3 ounces of salmon has over 2,000 milligrams of omega-3s, while cod has only 171 milligrams. So, when choosing between them, salmon is definitely the better choice. Plus, salmon is packed with potassium, zinc, and calcium, making it a nutritious addition to your meals. Number 4. Pecans. I aim to select foods from various categories. Since many people eat nuts, I want to discuss the healthiest nut among them all and why. Among all nuts, pecans have the least net carbs. Here you can see the pecans, and I enjoy grabbing a handful after a meal. They provide a good amount of fat and are satisfying post-meal. Pecans contain 14 grams of carbs and about 10 grams of fiber per cup, resulting in a net carb of only 4 grams per cup. Remember, on a keto diet, you can have up to 50 grams of carbs, so 4 grams is negligible. They are also high in fat, about 71 grams. Other nuts like macadamia nuts and pistachios have more fat, but pecans have the lowest net carbs. Pecans have a great fat-to-protein ratio, approximately 7.1, which is low on the insulin index. Pecans are rich in zinc and copper, which balance each other out, a beneficial combination in any food. They're also loaded with vitamin B1, which is helpful for stress. Pecans have the lowest oxalate levels among nuts, which is important because oxalates can combine with calcium to form kidney stones. Pecans are excellent for heart health and blood sugar levels. They have the highest antioxidant levels among nuts, reducing complications from chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and inflammation. Pecans are easy to digest compared to walnuts, peanuts, Brazil nuts, and even macadamia nuts. I also appreciate pecans for their taste and versatility in keto desserts and other recipes. Number 5. The final item on the list is extra virgin olive oil. It's important to make sure you're using the real thing. There are many types available. Must use a genuine olive oil. Olive oil is interesting because if you buy cheap versions from various grocery stores, you might not get the real thing. Many fake olive oils blend in other oils, which isn't the same. The authentic olive oil has a slight sharpness to it and a fresh aroma like freshly cut grass. It's peppery and might cause a slight irritation in the back of your throat, which is a sign it's real. I use it daily on my salads. So why is extra virgin olive oil so healthy? It contains vitamins like vitamin E and vitamin A and minerals such as magnesium and potassium. Being a fat, it doesn't affect your insulin levels, which is great, but it does have valuable phytonutrients. These can help you live longer by supporting things like telomeres, which affect longevity. Olive oil also supports and repairs mitochondria, crucial since cancer is related to mitochondrial health. Protecting and repairing mitochondria can provide anti-cancer benefits. As an anti-inflammatory and pain reliever, olive oil's effects are similar to ibuprofen. Ibuprofen is a medication used to manage and treat inflammatory diseases, rheumatoid disorders, mild to moderate pain, fever, dysmenorrhea, and osteoarthritis. I'll include a study below for you to check out. Compounds in extra virgin olive oil can reduce beta amyloids, which are linked to Alzheimer's disease. This makes it beneficial for brain health, memory, focus, and concentration. It also acts as an anti-clotting agent, fights microbes, and protects the retina, especially important for those with diabetes or high blood sugar levels. Some phytonutrients in extra virgin olive oil are 20 times more potent than those in green tea. So don't be afraid to use plenty of it on your salads. The oil's fat helps extract the salad's nutrients effectively. There you have it, the five healthiest foods. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.